Ugh, how's my hair look? I don't know. I don't care. Hey everybody, so got the house to myself right now. I'm bored, so uh figured why not make a video? Something short. Okay, so I'm just getting ready for Super Bowl doing stuff. So let's make some guac or something. I don't know. Okay, note taken. Don't record time lapses while the camera's plugged in. It'll overheat and stop recording. <laughs> Never had that happen. I didn't even know you could plug it in and still record, but I'm not doing it again. I mean, unless I figure out how to liquid cool my camera. Oh yeah, guac's done by the way. Looks pretty good. Yeah, by the way, I'm just making this video because I have nothing better to do. There's, I mean, it's not going to be anything great. Hey, I got a new knife. I'm gonna do a little shoot, just because I have time. I did pretty good. Uh, it was a pretty short range. I'm kind of out of practice. But I'm glad I hit all the target. So, all on the target. So, uh, good. Alright, this one's a recurve. If you know anything about bows, you'll know that it shoots different than the compound. So, um, I'll just go ahead and make that my excuse now as to why I'm not going to shoot well with this. So, um, because like, the compound, it just shoots arrows and they go down. This, for some reason, it starts and it goes up a little and it arcs down at the target. And I don't know how to deal with that yet. So, because I haven't had this bow long at all for how much I shoot, like, I barely even shot it, really. So, that's my excuse, so let's see how I do. I missed with the first one. Oh, by the way, I figured out pretty quick when I got this bow that, you know, the whole Robin Hood thing where you wear it kind of like this over your body, it doesn't work all that well. Either Robin Hood was super skinny or he had a bigger bow.
I'm starting to get it. I'm still not great. I'm not that bad either, but eh, what can you ask for? Oh, by the way, I like to give thanks where thanks is due. This um, compound here, I got it from my Air Force friend, uh, Joe Alcorn. Uh, he just wasn't using it, so he gave it to me for Christmas, and I fixed it up a little bit, put a nice whisker biscuit on it, and now I'm loving it. So thanks, Joe. Uh, I always try to thank people whenever they give me something I'm going to use, like, um, especially in my videos, like Chris gave me that, Chris Mummert gave me that really nice uh, Audio-Technica microphone that I use in my studio videos, and then Joe gave me this, so, <laughs> I mean, I'm not even that big yet, and I've already got, I'm not big at all on YouTube, I've got a really nice group of people following me. Thanks guys. As a quick footnote to me shooting, always make sure you take care of your equipment. Like, a lot of people, the reason I had to fix this up is because my buddy didn't know that you had to wax the bowstring. So, like, you just gotta, you gotta make sure you know what you're dealing with and make sure you take care of your stuff because bows don't last long if they're not properly taken care of. Because, <laughs> and you especially want to make sure that bows are taken care of. Guns as well, but if this gets dry and brittle, I all it takes is one shot. I can pull it back, let it go, and then the vibrations will make it snap and like the arms could break or something and kill me. So make sure you take care of your gear. The same goes for pretty much any gear you ever use. You want to make, make sure you know how to take care of it, know what it's capable of, and make sure it's stored properly. I just sound like I'm like Michelle Obama over here giving PSAs left and right. I like it. While I'm waxing my bowstring here, I'll just go ahead and tell you why I've been kind of silent here lately with my vlogs. I don't make these often, well, because when I'm talking, like right now, when I've got the clip recording, I sound perfectly fine to myself, but as soon as I start the edit or look back at my footage, I'm going to notice that I sound like a complete and total dork, constantly. And it bugs me. <laughs> and I've scrapped one or two vlogs that they were just really short because I sounded completely stupid. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's that's something though, because like, I, you can see it in my uh, canoeing videos. I know how to edit. And uh, I do know that if you've got great editing ability you can make most things good but um, if you start with terrible source material or like something is completely off and bugs you it's gonna bug the heck out of you the entire time you're working on it it's not gonna go away so like the first vlog I made that's why I hated it so much I was like yeah yeah the, this sounds great and I'm I sound smart, you know, kind of funny, and I look back and I'm like, I edited out half my jokes. They were terrible. It annoyed the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to play myself a sad song. Also, don't do this. <laughs> um, just, just strumming on it shouldn't hurt anything, but if you, like, dry fire it, the arms could break and kill you. Watch out for that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna look back on that clip right there and I'm gonna say that I'm like a freaking idiot. This is why I don't make vlogs often, because I it's me. <laughs> it's, I like making them, I like having them, because it's like a direct like soapbox where I can tell my 
opinion or like display my personality without like having to like force it through a filter like canoeing videos where you just get like the artistic uh, viewpoint of me. I, it's just that I suck <laughs> at doing vlogs right now. So if it's gonna be a long time before I make the next one, just know that probably because I think I suck at these. That's why I don't make them that often. <laughs>